Hello, my name is Caitlin with West Palm Dog, and today I'm here with Buddy, as well as my assistant Jasmine and her partner Welly. We're going to be working on some loose leash walking. Now, what we're going to be doing today is walking up and down the patio because we want to make sure that when the dogs start walking outside, they have the best chances of success we can give them. And so that's why we're working with the dogs in the patio today. Now, they're going to be acting as distractions for each other, but despite that, we still want them to give us a polite walk, which means no pulling no dragging, and no sniffing the ground. Buddy, let's go. Now right off the bat, you see the dogs definitely notice each other. Uh-uh. And you see Buddy is actually crossed in front of me, so if he does that, you see him backing up, correcting, and then trying again, because I don't want him to think that it's okay if he crosses in front of me like that. That is a huge tripping hazard. You see Buddy's doing a very nice job. Look at that eye contact she's giving Jasmine. Very nice. Come on. Good job, much better. Buddy, come on. Good job. Come on. Very nice job. Both dogs are doing really nice. We're going to go ahead and do a couple more laps, but I really like what I'm seeing here. Much better. You can definitely see Buddy's pace has improved. He's not walking in front of me, which is definitely a quirk of his that we've noticed. And like I said, we want to go ahead and fix that just because it is a big tripping hazard. But you see, he's not walking in front of me anymore. He's got his focus on me. He's making turns like a champ. Very nice job. And same with Welly. I love the focus that I'm seeing. She's got a nice even pace going, keeping an eye on Jasmine. Very nice job. Come on. Now we're going to make one last turn up ahead. And when we're ready to stop with our dogs, it's always going to be the same process because we want to give them space to stop with us. It's going to be their name, and then we take a couple extra steps to accommodate those extra steps. Buddy. Good job. And you see, by taking those extra steps, the dogs are able to stop with us instead of stopping ahead. But overall, very nice job from both dogs. They both did a great job. And then you can see the walk started a little bit rough because they definitely were distracted by each other. Overall, that was a really nice practice session. Let's go.